Hi everybody, this is an example of how to use Windows Media Encoder in order to do a screen capture or a screencast so you can give instruction to either your students or you could share things with parents or anything like that online by creating a Windows Media file. So I thought what I'd do is show you sort of my daily regimen of coming into Internet Explorer and showing you sort of what I go through each time I open this. Now, what I do, and you'll notice right away that I have three tabs that are set as my home pages. The first one is my Google Reader, and I come to that first because right there is where I store all of my subscribed RSS feeds. So for all the news of the day, education news, education technology news, all those things that, in which I'm interested as the PIO of the school district. And then I also share many of those things. And you can get to the shared site or subscribe to my feed of my shared items. And so any story that I saw on my Google Reader that I think might be interesting to other folks, I share. And those would all be found here. So the one that I talked about earlier that I think is extremely interesting today is that MIT researchers, let's go down a little bit, MIT researchers transmit wireless electricity, and this absolutely astounds me that they were able to do that. So, uh, the next tab is the Global Learners blog. I can go on and sign in here and be able to sign in and then show you the blog post that I'm working on at which this will be posted. So, I sign in using my username. It loads up, and while it's doing that, you can see here, I can go into my posts for Global Learners. And there's one that I was working on that I had saved, and hopefully it'll pull that up. Meanwhile, we can go over here to Delicious. Delicious is a place where um, I can tag things online, I can save things, I can bookmark them. It basically works like a bookmarking warehouse. And um, you can look at those things, and if you decide that you're interested in some of the things I'm interested in, you can also subscribe to that. Let's go back here to our blog. So, Film Fest and Online Video, that's the draft post I'm working on. So let's go in and we can edit that. Um, and you can see here that I was talking about Windows Media Encoder. Here's another fun, free, and extremely useful tool. And I'm going to post this video there to show you how this works. So, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you can find some real good uses for that in your classroom, and I'm sure you can.